The Mississippi River is known as North America's second longest river and the headwaters of the world's second largest drainage system, second only to the Hudson Bay drainage system. Due to unprecedented droughts in Minnesota, the Mississippi River has fallen to record low levels, becoming a ghost of itself. Low water levels have now disclosed a treasure trove of previously uncovered items to archaeologists, bringing some of its most important buried mysteries to the surface. In today's video, we'll let you know the terrifying secrets the river has revealed till now. A drought has recently affected the Mississippi Basin, which encompasses 1.2 million square miles across 31 states and two Canadian provinces, and accounts for 41% of the continental United States. Only the Amazon and Congo River basins are more significant than the Mississippi, which has the world's third largest river basin. The river is particularly notable because it supports a diverse range of creatures, including at least 260 distinct fish species. Around half of the fish in the Mississippi River may be viewed at St. Anthony Falls, the Mississippi's only substantial cascade, which accounts for approximately 25% of North America's total fish species. However, due to the extreme drought and the river dropping to record lows, its aquatic population has been severely decimated. Other consequences of the river's falling levels include decreased drinking water availability for numerous localities and an interruption in grain cargo delivery to several states. This has led to shortages and higher prices for Americans who are already dealing with inflation. If the drought persists, climate scientists anticipate that Mississippi will shatter the state's previous low water crisis record, established in 1988. In certain places of Tennessee, recordings showed the river nearly hollowed out, with vast stretches of riverbed visible on both sides and little puddles of water flowing through the middle. The city of St. Cloud announced the closure of the second unit of the hypoelectric dam when water flows dropped to 700 cubic feet per second. As stated by the city, this is the first time the dam has had to be completely shut down since the devastating drought of 1988. A rising amount of data suggests that the droughts that have led the Mississippi River's water to recede are directly tied to the burning of fossil fuels, which has raised world temperatures, increased evaporation, and worsened droughts. However, one unusual occurrence that may now eclipse all other disastrous results of the river drying up is the mysteries that have emerged from previously buried locations by the Mississippi. The remnant of an ancient ship that sunk into the river a few years ago is one of the most significant deep water mysteries exposed by the river's decline in water levels. Low water levels in Baton Rouge, Louisiana made the ancient sunken ship visible in early October. According to the Associated Press, archaeologists believe the artifacts were from a ferry that sank in the late 1800s or early 1900s. According to published clippings from the State Times archives, an archaeologist for the state of Louisiana, Colin McKimsey, thinks the ship is the Brook Hill Ferry which ferried people and probably horse-drawn carts over the Mississippi until it sunk in a storm in 1915. The ship's hull was found in shallow seas in the 1990s, but the remainder remained beneath until recently. However, only the very tops of the sides could be seen at the time since the vessel was completely covered in mud, and there was muck all around it. Even though there wasn't much of the ferry exposed at the time, the state designated it as an archaeological site in the early 1990s. The discovery of the buried Brook Hill Ferry prompted a flood of national news, as predicted. A spectator who noticed the century-old wooden boat downriver found it in early October. The discovery brought so many people to the island, near Wittenberg, that traffic congested the two-lane roadways, prompting the Missouri Department of Conservation to issue a caution for tourists' safety. The mystery surrounding the ship drew experts' attention to the finding. Experts are presently attempting to document the ferry including the materials and building procedures used to create it, to make the most of the chance to witness it before the water levels rise again. It allowed humans to learn more about shipbuilding during that period. However, one of the study specialists, McGimsey, said that although the finding is intriguing, the degree of public interest has astonished him. He thought the boat was unremarkable in the big scheme of things, so he was surprised to see more than 1,300 pieces about it online by the end of October. According to him, soft water is an unusual event for most people, and everything that came with it was interesting and generated a stir among the locals. Drought-stricken Mississippi River waters led to another more terrible discovery. On a Saturday, a mother and her family were digging for pebbles along the dry river's banks when they stumbled and discovered some human bones. 
According to Scotty Meredith, Chief Medical Examiner for Coahoma County, the remnants comprised a lower jawbone, rib bones, and a few undetermined bone pieces. Crystal Foster, the lady who found the remains, told the media that she believed it was only a matter of time until human remains were retrieved due to the abnormally low water levels. In recent months, other human remains were discovered in Lake Mead in Nevada, the country's most enormous reservoir. Several skeleton remains were found in the lake throughout the summer, and the lake's level also sank to record low levels owing to the drought caused by climate change. Experts predict that as human-caused climate change heats the earth and increases droughts, retreating rivers will disclose more historical artifacts. According to Jennifer Burns, a forensic anthropologist who works with the Clark County Coroner's Office, which investigates deaths in Lake Mead, diminishing bodies of water could be a godsend for professionals tasked with solving missing person cases, even though long-submerged findings can be bleak. Burns was keen to point out that from a forensic aspect, an enormous body of water evaporating was ideal for the Clark County Coroner's Office. In a prior interview with Insider Magazine, forensic anthropologist Eric Bartolink of California State University's Chico Human Identification Lab supported this viewpoint, saying that lowering water levels had uncovered remains concealed under the surface for many years. He stated it would only show us other stuff in the water that we wouldn't usually have access to. For forensic specialists, it means a higher possibility of discovering missing individuals and solving crimes based on freshly uncovered evidence from Mississippi's dry areas. Furthermore, the river's retreating coastline reveals the river's grim history. Old things are being uncovered, and some natural elements may be viewed for the first time in many years. People are flocking to the river to witness before the water level rises and engulfs it again. Because of the increased interest, the Mississippi River is quickly becoming a haven for antique hunters from all over the nation, hoping to unearth something precious in the river bottom. Riley Bryant is an expert in artifact hunting, and he now works as an employee of the metal detecting business History Seekers and the American Digger magazine. Under the guise of Relic Riley, he uploaded videos on TikTok in order to bring in more revenue. Bryant's passion for antique hunting can be traced back to the age of 11 when he purchased his first metal detector. Long before his videos of the Low River became renowned, people have always had an interest in long-lost antiquities. And the fact that he already has hundreds of thousands of followers on social media at the age of 21 is a reflection of that interest. Bryant has lived in Memphis his whole life, and the river there hit a record low in October. Bryant has never examined the river at low levels. The last time the river came close to breaking the record was in 2012, the same year he bought his first metal detector. Rather than the finding of the box plate, Bryant was astonished by the widespread ignorance of the fact that the Civil War era commerce along the river had made Civil War era items prevalent. When the tide is low, visitors to Missouri may see Tower Boulder, a boulder made of limestone 400 million years old. Visitors to the area, much to the disgust of the Missouri Department of Conservation, climbed the boulder across the previously exposed sandbar to better view the monument. Bryant also said that the finding might be fascinating since, in the opinion of most Missourians, the river has some enchantment. Nevertheless, due to the deterioration of the global climate and record droughts, it is anticipated that something that used to occur just once in a lifetime will become more common in the future. According to the government's drought monitor, 85% of the country is now facing drought conditions, and climate predictions suggest that drought and floods will become more regular and severe in the future. According to the most recent estimates about the climate, the deficit will continue to impact all facets of society, including agriculture, shipping, and tourism. What are your thoughts? Will more intriguing discoveries be made in the river in the near future? Leave a comment below. And if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications for more discoveries worldwide. Have a nice day.